refer to the owner's manual for clarification and more details on the processes shown in this video. Welcome to the Honda Power Equipment video on HRR lawnmower operation. In this video, we'll show you how to properly and safely operate your HRR 2169 VYA lawnmower. Check the data plate near the rear of your mower to make sure this video applies to your model. Always check the oil level before mowing your lawn. It should be at or near the full mark on the dipstick. HRR mower handlebars have two height settings. To change the height, support the handlebar and turn the lock knobs perpendicular to it. Move the handlebar to one of the available positions and then turn the lock knobs parallel to it. To prevent clogging your mower and brown patches in your grass, you should not cut off more than one-third of the total grass height in any one mowing session. The cutting height on HRR mowers can be adjusted to six different positions, from one and one-eighth inches to four inches. To adjust the cutting height, pull the adjuster handles away from the mower and move them toward the front of the mower to raise the deck or toward the rear of the mower to lower the deck. Make sure all four adjusters lock into the same setting. Next, you'll need to choose what to do with the grass clippings. There are three options, mulch, bag, or discharge. You can select any setting without any tools or attachments. Mulching cuts the grass into smaller pieces that fall through the turf and decompose quickly. To mulch the clippings, squeeze the clip director lever and move it to the mulch position. If the grass bag is attached, lift the discharge guard and remove the grass bag. Bagging captures the grass clippings for a more manicured lawn appearance. To bag the clippings, squeeze the clip director lever and move it to the bag position. Lift the discharge guard and set the hooks of the bag frame into the slots, then lower the discharge guard. To discharge the clippings, squeeze the clip director lever and move it to the bag position. Lift the discharge guard and move the grass bag, then lower the discharge guard. When you mow, the clippings will come out behind the mower and fall on the grass. Your mower has a recoil starter grip, blade control lever, roto stop blade control button, adjustable smart drive control, and throttle lever. To start your mower, turn the fuel valve on and move the throttle lever to the fast position. With the blade control lever and roto stop button released, pull lightly on the recoil starter until you feel resistance and then pull briskly. To engage the cutting blades, make sure the throttle is in the fast position. Press and hold the yellow roto stop button, then quickly pull the blade control lever to the handlebar. Once the blades are spinning, you can release the yellow blade control button. If you need to stop the cutting blades at any time for any reason, just release the blade control lever and the blades will stop turning. With the engine running and the cutting blades engaged, Press down on the smart drive control paddles to move the lawnmower forward. Ground speed increases as you press harder on the smart drive control. Apply only enough pressure to reach the desired speed. Your ground speed will vary depending on grass height, grass bag weight, and the slope of your yard. For your comfort, you can adjust the smart drive control to one of five starting positions. To adjust it, slide the adjuster to the left and rotate the control up or down to the most comfortable position then release the adjuster and allow it to lock in place. When you need to move something out of the way or to empty the grass bag, release the smart drive control and the blade control lever to stop the cutting blades, then move the throttle lever to slow, and then move the item out of your way or remove the grass bag to empty it.
To begin mowing again, move the throttle to the fast position, then press and hold the roto stop button and quickly pull the blade control lever against the handlebar. Press down on the smart drive control to move the lawn mower forward again. When you are finished mowing or want to stop the engine, release the smart drive control and the blade control lever, then move the throttle to the off position. Always turn the fuel valve off anytime the lawnmower is not in use. Thank you for choosing Honda lawnmowers. Refer to the owner's manual for clarification and more detail on the processes shown in this video. For additional resources, visit us at powerequipment.honda.com.